Hey, welcome back to another episode. We're not wasting any time. We're getting straight to work. I finally decided what this floor of the lab is going to be. It is going to be all about production. So this hallway won't be that long because last episode I showed we're breaking out to the surface there. So this is going to be a hallway with a few rooms specifically around production. So I am building a machine right here, as you can tell. Uh, these are gonna be production lines, but this room necessarily isn't gonna be producing something. I really like the way this one turned out. So this is gonna probably have paper on it. Then this, I'm probably gonna, oh, didn't think of this. It'll wrap around here, then this will be maps, and then it'll wrap around here. I don't know, I'm just now building it. But this room is going to have a wall somewhere on the inside that is finally going to display all of my custom maps I have made. Because when they sit in boxes like this, I cannot, oh God, there's a lot. I cannot really see which ones there are. It would be like displaying a giant map, it's okay. But I want a wall to look at all of my custom maps I've made so I can come in here and easily pick which one I need for a certain build. All right, let's get to work. Okay, the computer lab is coming along well. Yes, this is going to be the computer lab, as you can see. Uh, we have all of our robots set up that is going to be producing the screens and the hardware required to run these computers. So we got a molding machine here. It'll, you know, fondle the parts to make them properly sized. I don't know. I just helped design the machines. The engineers are the ones that knows how this works. Uh, this is a cutting part. It'll go along here. And this is a stamping part. And then it'll go in to the deep dark abyss. I also decided to put in a sugarcane farm here, which although I planted these sugarcane a long time ago and they have not grown in like once. Do they need light or do they just simply not grow on mud? Did someone misinform me? Because I got a feeling that's the issue. So we can just close this up here. But if you haven't noticed, I haven't even made the room yet where I'm displaying all my maps. So that's gonna be back here because I don't really want it to be out in the open because it doesn't really make sense for this lab. This is more for me to come into and realize what computer screens I do have and whiteboards. So I'll clear out this space and see if any of these grow. Okay, computer lab and production, employees only. I'm an employee. I mean, heck, I built this place. Love the way this room looks. Might add a little few more details in here. We'll see, but uh, yeah. This is the computer building lab. Of course, we got this here. Got this room all finished up. And I really like the way this room turned out. And I love the idea of having all of my custom maps showcased on the wall here because I can get an idea of what I have. And I realized, if you look here, I realized how cool these ones actually look. When I made these two, these are the first sets I made. I thought they were the coolest things ever, but then I got the idea of building an actual computer frame, and then I thought these were useless. I thought these looked so cool, but now that I look back at these, these can be used here easily and look even more futuristic than this, because if you imagine these top three aren't here, this looks like a giant monitor, like a bezel monitor. And I absolutely love these ones that I made here. These ones are phenomenal, and I could even make more. The hardest part about making these ones though is it has to be made over the void in the end with grass blocks and you don't get the grass blocks back when you get rid of one of these. But yeah, we got all of these right here. Of course, these are all the gray monitors, all the gray monitors with a blue background, all the new SSC monitors. And I just made a new one today, this one right here, which is actually some dials. So it can go along with these in this computer. I really like how those turned out. It goes pretty well with all these buttons. And then, of course, all of our whiteboard stuff. I almost forgot these two. These were the only ones in the hospital, the little sticky note ones, which I really like. Any hizzle, since this is a computer building lab, I want to put some computer monitors on the desks here as if some workers are tinkering with them and putting some together. There we go. This will do for now. You know, I've always used this smooth stone block as the base for my computers, but I'm starting to wonder if this would have been a better pick because it actually has design on the sides. Does it f- No. See, yeah. This is like the only block that looks halfway decent. Or I could just make all new maps. That's that. Just put a few tables in here. I guess I could put a villager in here. It's a rainy night in the city. Hi, Durbin. Serendipity's got to be repaired. Since we're not at home, I guess we're going to create our own new tool wall here. Okay, the hospital. Why is that fire lit? I guess lightning struck it, I'm guessing, because this happens a lot in my world with unlit campfires. 
But yes, we like built this thing to like 90% and then just left it. And that bothers me every time I go past it. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're finishing this. We're finishing this down here. I had three people in here and they're all gone. Remember that iron golem I drug in here? He was down here for a while. He died. Don't know how. It's all lit up. The fences were up. Explain to me. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe a skeleton spawned up there and shot him. I don't know. All I know is this place isn't safe. Everything dies when it's in here. I don't know how something died up here. Down there was Angel Altamirano and then Casey McClara, the doctor. They died up here somehow. Man, how long ago did I work on this? I, I need to put a chandelier here, actually. But I miss this place. This was such a fun build. I think today as well, I'm gonna learn how to, how I want to do my supply lines. So we have health potions here and I want to send them to my new lab. So I guess I'll have to do some sort of minecart system. Okay, I now have a base floor to this place. I like how it looks. I just love bone block. It gives that worn in feel compared to this block. I just put this back here because I don't wanna to use too much bone block. I don't have a lot of it. But I'm gonna put a villager back here to replace that golem. I don't think any mobs will spawn down here. Uh oh. One might spawn here. I have it nighttime so I can run through and figure out where I need to put lights. Hi, Creeper. You're near my shulker boxes. That's not cool. Alright. Gonna have that there. Looks a little odd. <laughs> Is that too dark? I don't think so. I've had to put some lights up right there. It just looks the best. I don't think there's any dark spots in here now. I'm so glad they changed it where mobs only spawn at light zero. But I could have swore I didn't have any at light zero in here, so I'm still confused by a lot of this. This floor is pretty good. Okay. And in here. I don't... Oh, wait. Ah, I think we should be fine now. I'm gonna put a chandelier here. Where do I have a pressure plate in this place? Was it here? Oh! No wonder something died. Or Casey McClara died in here. Why did I put pressure plates out there? Oh! God! Is that cool? Sure, I like it. Alright, time to populate this place. I forgot about this house. I love the way it looks. It looks so creepy. Uh-oh. The door's been torn down. That's no good. But, there are some safety measures. If a zombie were to- Oh god, there's a spider! You're the one causing all the spider webs. I have these here. So they should still be alive. Good. What was your name again? Jacob Huff. I'm glad you don't have any new victims. I completely forgot about that, not gonna lie. I meant to be, you know, make a warehouse and store stuff in pots, but I forgot that was a feature. I need a butcher. I will buy your rabbit stews just to lock your stupid trade. Netwits, stay out. You look like you're just about to cause trouble. I hear one coming. Don't you dare! This is the worst part. I remember about this hospital. Is getting these dang villagers up here. Because the problem with stairs, as you might see here, is if you get too submerged in the water, you both get kicked out of the boat. I think I'm getting a little lucky here. Yeah! Okay. Oh, still so much to go. No! Don't go down that way. Oh no. Try this again. Come down this way. Thank you very much. It's okay, doctor. We're almost there. We're in a hospital, so if we get hurt, we'll be fine. Yes! Okay, Casey McClara, you are back home. Take this bed. Oh, you know what I didn't realize as well? They have this staircase to go up, and I didn't think of that. Villagers are so dumb in this game, they do this a lot. So I need to dumb-proof these stairs. Okay, I got the chemist back up here, but I also noticed another problem. I can't just simply put these here, because he'll probably be dumb enough to do this. And that's probably what got him killed last time, so I gotta get rid of my hard work here. And I'll just use these ugly fences. Yeah, looks fine. All right, you take that cauldron, okay? Because I told you to. Oh crap, but he can get up stairs. Ugh. The difficulty of wanting to make this place look good, but having idiotic villagers ruin it. I guess I can get rid of that. Do something like this. I've learned that if they don't take it immediately, you literally just leave them here. And eventually they'll take it. <laughs> I did finish the top floor here. Uh, we could put someone up here eventually, but I don't know what to use this for, so it's just gonna remain empty for now. 
Uh. All right, take that smoker, Casey. Wait, why did I put a leather worker up here? I want it to be... Yeah. Uh. All right, change of plans. You're going to be the receptionist of this hospital. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got to cover that up. Oh, wrong spot. What are you... What are you looking for? What's up there? Look at all of those ring stands. And he finds one back at the villager breeding area. Makes sense. <laughs> I swear to God, if any of these villagers die, I'm gonna cause havoc on this city. Here's your bed find, sir. Take it. Take it. Take it. Isaac. Take the bed. It's right there. It's not night time. What the? What? No. How? Oh, the stupid trap door. I swear to God. Okay, can't have that. Might just get rid of this altogether. See all these little things? It's just, it's so annoying. Angel, glad to have you back. I would have someone up here, but it would just cause so many issues as well. <laughs> Maybe we can in the future. Doc, you in here? Good. My arm's still hurting, so I might come back for another surgery. I'll put a sticky note on here. Dallas, arm, 9 a.m. Okay, well, we aren't done yet, so let me go back home. I need some blaze rods. Okay. Get to work, Angel. All of these have one charge in them, I believe. Except for you. I really want this place to be my main area of mass-producing health potions. My problem is, is creating supply lines throughout the city. I don't know how to go about that. We're obviously not going to have one long line of hoppers. That would be ridiculous. The most efficient way is minecart and chest. I guess, should I do that underground? The problem with doing it underground is, is eventually we're gonna start on the sewers in this place. So that might interfere with that future project. Oh, that's why I have this right here. Let's make a, oh, we're gonna have a bunch. Oh wait, that's the whole point of having the hoppers. Oh my gosh, look at all the melon. Or I could create some sort of sky transit. Like, um, about as high as power lines, or maybe not that high, maybe about this high running throughout the city with minecarts to transfer items where they need to go, of course. Angel, why am I doing this? This is taking me a long time. I have much better things to do. This is why I hired you. How cool would that be if villagers and hiring villagers got so in depth in this game, they could actually do this whole process for you. I feel like that's too much for Minecraft though. They don't want this game to be fun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, last one. And I know this is very, like, highly inefficient. You can automate this 100%. Like, I have an automatic potion maker back at home, but I just liked the way this looked. So I'll probably create some sort of minecart, probably out on this balcony thing. Just a minecart chest that I could load all this onto, which you should be loading onto, but I'll have to do it. <laughs> and press a button. And I might want to follow it so I'd have a minecart behind it and then just send it to wherever it needs to go, I guess the lab. That's why I miss Furnace Minecart. It always guaranteed that the item would get there because it's constantly pushing. I feel like nowadays I'm always so skeptical on where it's gonna end up. All right, there we go. Hospital's ready and back in order. All right, that time of the episode. Oh, that looks cool. I love cyan glass for this look. Oh man, I really like that. I haven't looked inside yet. Oh, look at the god race. Ooh. Ooh, looks very industrial in here. Like modern industrial. Exactly how I want it to look. How much have you been giving me? Good. But I am gonna end it here. Today's common question is from Drowsum. Do you still binge watch your previous episodes like you used to for inspiration and recollection of ideas? If not, why the change? Absolutely I do. I am currently on like episode well, I can check real quick. Episode 153, I got to a point where I was like in my, about to reach episode 400, but I restarted for some reason and I got hooked on my older episodes. So I am back on episode 153, I think I just said. So yeah, I mean, I do it just to have some background noise sometimes, but um, I've been really getting into these type of background noise videos. There's this one called like Dreamy Treehouse, just has like crickets playing. It's like a montage of this fantasy looking tree house and it has some very nice music to it. And I love putting that on for background noise while I'm just playing this game. And I have this other one called, it's like some sort of futuristic bass and ambience. 
in the snow and i like listening to that while i work here because it just kind of fits the vibe of the place so uh yeah i i sometimes go back and watch my videos still uh it's really it's just i love doing it just because like i said before i get older ideas and i can see what else i need to do or what i forgot about in my world i'm going to start carrying since i don't have a <laughs> minecart yet I'm gonna carry some of these potions over to my lab. In the meantime, it's time to thank some donos, and I have a lot of them today, so if you're still watching, prepare yourself. First donos from Charles Liru. I'm assuming that's how you say that. Who donated again. Thank you so much, Charles. I appreciate it. And Benjamin Clifton, who donated once again as well. You guys are some very kind souls. And Landon Ownbe. 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 You're gonna have to tell me how to say that. With a massive... Wow, look at the city out here. Oh, that looks so cool. With a massive... 100 dono if you couldn't tell he's been the one that's been donating a ton and now i feel awful that i didn't even get him out this episode actually i planned to landon so yeah i know i'm a bad person i'm just kidding it's hard to keep track but uh yeah actually i'll get you out next episode in this i want to get like five people out in here next episode because we're going to build some more automatic farms in here and we need the villagers to keep them up kept but landon that is an insane support over the past like three four weeks such a generous soul and sean morgan thank you for your dono as well and oh god ryan mccoy i wasn't kidding when i said i had a lot of donos <laughs> ryan mccoy making it into the villager book thank you so much for the support ryan ryan do you want to go down here does this fit your vibe i feel like it would like i said i actually think i do want to open up these labs back up because you know they've been closed down for years you know not for a week for years. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to open this place back up. And Joseph Wolf with <laughs> in the villager book as well. Joseph Wolf. I always try to look at your names and think where you would fit because I tried to tie names with like certain things in my world. I like your last name. That's pretty cool. Thank you both so much for that. That is unbelievable, Joseph and Ryan. And Dalvin Estrella Santiago with a mighty fine donation too. Thank you, Dalvin. And Cameroo. Ca oh, what? Cameron Register. Your last name is Register? I mean, I'm not hate. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. It's just interesting. Register. Whoa, I have a lot in there. I don't need that much in there. Thank you for that, Cameron. And Matthew Tucker making it in the book as well. Holy crap, we got a lot of new faces in here. Why? What the? Why did it fill my bookshelves up with books? In RTX. Let me check up on Mike Buckridge. Yes, you all made it into the citizens' books. I appreciate it. Thank you, Matthew, once again. That's nuts. And Bennett Schoenauer, thank you for your dono. And Carter Younts. 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 I, th I think it would be Younts, right? Yeah, it would have to be. Hey, how you doing? I know, we'll fix this eventually. Just hold your horses. I'll see you in a little bit. Take care. Thank you all for those very kind donations. I That's all I can say is just thank you. I mean, I love putting you guys out in my world and stuff, and you guys supporting my channel like this is so unbelievable. But I've got a multi-billion emerald business to build. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.